Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part one of my guide series to the new Maze Plus mod that came out on Mod Hub for PC only. Now I know some of you guys are going to ask why is it not on consoles? This is a very highly scripted mod, so it will never unfortunately be able to come to consoles. Or at least most likely will never be able to come to consoles. So I would not hold your breath on that one. Uh, but anyhow, this is a very cool mod. It is by the Alien Paul, good friend of the channel, and Model Liker. Um, I probably said that completely wrong. I apologize. Uh, they are part of Farming Agency, which is a modders group uh, that does a really amazing work. Um, I got to meet Alien Paul at, uh, or the Alien Paul at uh, FarmCon 22, which was super cool. Uh, really cool guy. But anyhow, uh, we're going to talk about his mod here that we got going on. So we're going to start talking about that. So um, in this video, we're going to talk about the change that Maze Plus adds to the game. And we're also going to talk about a couple of the different things that are part of Maze Plus. So we're going to talk about specifically two changes, storing beets and potatoes in bunker silos and how to do that, as well as the multiple drying stages for hay and grass and how those work in this mod. And then we'll cover everything else in future videos. So the changes, there is now a distinction between grass silage and then corn or maize silage and whole crop silage. So more silage types. They also added in CCM silage and then BG or brewer's grain silage and BP or or beet pulp silage. And again, we're gonna cover how to make all these and what they're used for in future videos. There also has a potato cut that has been added. Potato cut can be added to grass silage and sugar beet. Um, cut can be added to maize silage. So again, potato cut can be added to grass silage and sugar beet can cut, I can't talk anymore. Potato cut to grass silage and sugar beet cut to maize silage. Um, you can bale grass, maize, and whole crop silage. You can store and cover potatoes and sugar beets and bunker silos, as mentioned earlier. And then I also mentioned the multiple drying stages for hay. So now there are four, technically four fill types regarding grass instead of just grass and hay. There is now um, several types now, and we'll cover those later in this video. Um, the feeding system for animals has been completely changed, and we'll go into a lot of detail about this in future videos. Um, you also can make pig food in uh, feed mixers now. Um, there's also a lot of additional machines, vehicles, buy points, and storage silos that we will cover as um, we go through um, this guide series. So um, this will probably be a two or, or excuse me, a three or four part guide series. So right now I have three parts. I think I'm going to try to divide it up into, but we'll see how long those end up getting uh, before we get too far. But anyhow, let's talk about storing sugar beets and potatoes in a bunker silo. So we'll talk about that first here. So why would you do it? Well, it's just more of a realism thing. It's just a way you can store them um, that's just a little bit different. So again, I've got a couple bunker silos here. These are base game bunker silos. If we go into um, silos, again, it should work for any bunker silo. There are two added in the Maze Plus um, mod here that are added, another small bunker silo in this guy right here. Um, but so those are added in. You can do those if you'd like to, but uh, I'm using two of just the small base game bunker cells. Now there's a couple things I noticed. Um, so right here, if I actually open up my help menu, you can see we have sugar beets and it tells me how many are in there. Now when you're going to put them in, I have potatoes in this trailer, so I'll show you this here. Um, right there, you see on the bottom or kind of the middle left hand side of the screen there, it says fill level for potatoes. Before you start unloading in the silo, make sure that says potatoes or sugar beets. I've noticed that if you, sometimes it'll for whatever reason not register right away. And if you start pouring too soon or before it picks up that you're putting potatoes or sugar beets in, it will just dump out kind of like whole crop silage or whole crop, the whole crop materials what it'll dump out. So uh, once you're there, control I, we can go and start unloading these into here. Just like that, you can see the potatoes are getting dumped out, which is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. We'll let them dump a little bit more here. We might as well, we don't really need to put all of them in there. We'll just try to scale a little bit further forward. So fantastic. We have potatoes in here. It says, uh, fill level potatoes, 20,476. Then it says compacting 0%. And I can't, I can't cover the silo. So no, you don't actually technically have to compact things um, to get things done. What you can do is either take another tractor and just drive on it for half a second or just back back over it. Like if we look over here, you just have to basically touch it with another piece of equipment. So again, if we back right back up a little bit into here is where it picks up there. Let's see if I can get it to show. There we go. So you're compacting 0% there. Then if I just back up a little bit, hit it once, boom, it's already compacted. So I just literally just had to kind of bump it with a tractor just so I can register that it's good to go. You don't actually have to drive over it like you would with normal silage in the past. And now it says R to blanket the silo. So boom, it's blanketed. And it says over in the upper right-hand corner, silo is done fermenting. That's because it doesn't have to ferment at all. So it says fermenting potatoes. There's not really actually a fermentation process. That's just to make it kind of work that way, but there's not really any fermenting that's happening. These are still potatoes. Now be aware, once you open that silo up, boom, opened up. I'm not able to reclose this now. And if I go over here, I can continue to open the whole silo up. Well, potentially. There we go. Oh, I mean, let me open that one. But anyhow, I tried it over here. So this one is one that I did cover and open um, completely. See, it's completely open. 
I can't recover this. So just be aware if you do open it up, you're gonna have to pick these up and set them back down if you wanna recover them. You can still leave them in here and it really doesn't matter if they're covered or not. Again, this mod is adding realism to the game so you can do things that be more realistic because in the real world, you wouldn't want just your sugar beets or potatoes sitting out and over the, you know, just in the elements uncovered and unprotected. So that's the whole purpose behind it. So I know I'm gonna get a ton of comments of, well, why will we bother doing that? when there's easier ways to do it. Yes, absolutely. This mod is not out there to make your life easier. It's there to make the game more realistic for those of you that want that. It's an option for you to make it more realistic. It's not here to make your life easier like a lot of other mods are used to. So just be aware of that. You have to have that mindset when you go into it. But having said that, there's a lot of cool aspects to this mod. So now we've kind of talked about how to use bunker silos and putting potatoes and sugar beets in there. Let's move over and shift over to talking about the different stages of grass in Maze Plus. All right, so let's start talking about grass. So there are four stages of grass now. There's fresh grass, which is basically the base game grass, uh, conditioned grass, semi-dry grass, and then hay. So we're gonna talk about how to get those four different states um, off of this grass field that we have right here. Now, those various types of grass may be used in different products and different things. As we go through, we'll talk about those as we go. Um, so mowed grass is fresh grass. So after you mow the grass, you will get fresh grass out. So if we hop in our mower here, we'll show that. If I lower this down, potentially, if it'll actually lower those ones there. There we go, <laughs> took it a while. And actually, I'm gonna change the work mode here. It's in wide spreading. Um, no, actually, wide spreading should be just fine. So if we go ahead here and we just mow a little bit, what we're getting out, actually, that looks like the condition grass. Let's make sure here. So you see there on the left-hand side, it says Z with conditioner. So if I change that, now it's without the conditioner. So right now what it says on there is actually what it is. So this the secondary grass, this really green stuff you're seeing is gonna be that base game or fresh grass. Now again, up there like we saw at the very beginning when I had it on the wrong setting, if I hit Z for with conditioner, we are now getting semi-dry grass. So why would you do this instead of have just the wet grass? Well, there's two differences here. So if we hop out and take a look at these guys and talk about them. If we look at this very wet grass right here, this may be used in some recipes. So this is um, just more specifically, just you might need this for some recipes. Now, in order to get this grass here normally, this is the um, conditioned grass, you would have to take that wet grass and then either go over it with a tether to get this, or you can use any of the base game mowers and have that conditioner on, so that way you get this grass here to get your conditioned grass. So again, wet grass, and then we have conditioned grass, which is a step drier. Um, and then past that, we then need to use a um, wind, or not a windrower, excuse me, a tether to get any further grass states from this. So if we actually just, uh, we'll come around here, we'll turn that conditioner off. We'll get it back down to, oop, I don't know, I didn't mean to lower or raise it up. Let's turn it back on, there we go. So yeah, we're gonna get this, this nice fresh green grass, which I really like the color on it, honestly, it looks really nice. But yeah, so we have this nice fresh grass here, and now we're gonna talk about kind of how the tether works and how you can use it to get the different states of grass um, moving on that. Now, one of the benefits to Maze Plus is you don't have to use all four states of grass. So what I mean by that is if you wanted to make hay, you could go straight from fresh grass to hay, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. So you kind of can choose, again, this mod is not out there to make your life easier, it's out there to make your life more realistic. So if we hop in our tractor here with the tether on it, and I open up the help menu, you see why for tether stage it says base game. So if I have this and I put it down, it's gonna get us the base game stage of grass. So if I actually lower it right here, you can go over this and we are gonna get base, oh, that's not even working the way it should work right there. Tether stage base game. Um, it should be giving us um, the base game stage of grass there. If we go over to tether stage condition, it should be giving us the condition stage of grass. Let's try that, it actually gives it to us. There we go, condition state of grass. So you see, it's giving us condition grass right there. Condition state of grass. Then if we change that to semi-dry, it's gonna take whatever grass we're going over and give us semi-dry grass out of it. So you see wet grass, then this conditioned grass. And then if I change it again to hay, it's gonna go right to hay. So basically what that means is you can see here, I'm going over the conditioned grass to get that. But if I wanted to just go straight to hay, I could come over to this wet grass or this fresh grass, and I could just lower this down and I can immediately get hay. So you can choose what level you wanna get out of it. Now, the one benefit to this as well is there is back, uh, back tethering, um, which is a feature that is strictly for realism, and you probably won't use it unless you really want to play super realistically. And what you're simulating with back tethering is 
if the grass gets wet, it probably is going to go back in a stage of wetness. So let's say we had this hay out in the field and, well, it rained or something like that. Um, if we wanted to change that back to, um, well, we may not go to base game. Let's try to go from hay. So semi dry is the state below this. If we go down, this you can see now it's putting semi dry out the back of it. So I'm actually taking it and I'm making the grass more wet with this. And I should be able to, again, go back to hay or I should be able to actually switch to base game. I might have to turn it on and back off. Yes, not let me do it now, of course. Go figure. But anyhow, in general, it should work fairly well for you uh, to switch from the different types. If I go there, there we go. It might not let us go back all the way to the wet grass, but you can see right there, we can take all of this and we can make it whatever we need it to be. If I go over this hay, I'm going to get it to be conditioned grass just like that. So you can change it however you want. And the whole purpose behind that is just for realism's sake. So you can adjust it however you want. Just like that. Beautiful. So there you go. You can back you can back tet it all the way back down to conditioned grass. You can't back tet it down to fresh grass. But there you go. So and again, there's a lot to this mod. So I'm trying to cover it as best I can without making too many mistakes. Hopefully, while covering it. But uh, there you guys go. So that is the benefit to the different grass stages in terms of realism. So yeah, there's four different grass stages. You can adjust them that way. And again, you can play it as realistic or not as realistic as you would like to. So there you go. And you can do that where let's say you had. Um, you can play it realistically in terms of let's say you had wet grass out on your field and you let it dry for a couple days and then you just came out here and tetted it. Let's say you just tetted it straight up to hay. So like, well, it would have already maybe dried to maybe the semi-dry state and then you just needed to tet it one more time to get hay. You can do that. So you can kind of uh, play it as realistic or as different as you want, depending on how you want to play it, which is really good. Now, the final thing I want to talk to you, and I'll put a chart up on your screen. So you're seeing that chart right now. Um, this is what happens when you pick grass up. So um, the action on the left-hand side, and this is um, in the guide to Maze Plus by Alien Paul, which if you want to access to this guide, um, go to the mod, which is linked down below. And then down below that, you'll see a readme, and there's different languages available for you. So this is obviously from the English one. So grass, tipping it into a bunker silo. You cannot tip grass that is fresh into a bunker silo. You can tip conditioned grass and semi grass or semi dry grass into a bunker silo. And then hay, you also can't tip into a bunker silo. Now baling, if you bale fresh grass, you're gonna get a grass bale. If you bale grass conditioned, you're gonna get grass bales. If you bale grass semi dry, you're gonna get grass bales. If you bale hay, you're gonna get hay, makes sense. Um, and that's without a wrapper. With a wrapper, if you bale silage grass, so if you bale grass, that is grass fresh, you're gonna get grass silage. If you bale grass conditioned, you're still gonna get grass silage. And then semi-dry grass, you're gonna get grass silage. And then if you bale um, with a bale or wrapper with hay, um, you're gonna get hay. So it just makes sense there. Now, forage harvester with pickup. So if you pick it up with the forage harvester, the grass fresh, you are gonna get, you can pick it up and you're gonna get grass conditioned. If you pick up grass conditioned, you're gonna get grass conditioned. If you pick up grass semi-dry, you're gonna get grass conditioned. So just be aware of that. And you can't pick up hay with the forage harvester with pickup. Now down below as well, it has the different icons, which are important to know. So that first one on the very far left, that kind of grass icon with the three water drops, that is the icon for the fill type of wet grass. Then the next one over the two water drops is the conditioned grass. Then the one that has the cloud and the sun over it, that is the semi-dry grass. And then the hay is that dried out grass on the far right side. So, and it has different photos there so you can see what it looks like on the field, which is super cool. But there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part to my Maze Plus guide series. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.